ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਜੀ ਤਨ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਨ ਮਈ 1563 ਇਨ ਦਾ ਹਾਊਸ ਆਫ ਤਨ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਬੀਬੀ ਪਾਨੀ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਗੋਵਿੰਦਵਾਲ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮੇਡ ਮੈਸਿਵ ਅਕੰਪਲਿਸ਼ਮੈਂਟਸ ਥਰੂ ਆਟ ਦਾ ਹੋਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਔਨ ਗੁਰਗੱਦੀ ਸਚ ਐਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕੰਪਾਊਂਡ ਮੈਨੀ ਸ਼ਬਦਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਆਦੀ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਵਿਚ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਦਾ ਬੇਸ ਫੋਰ ਤਨ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬ੍ਰੋ ਓਵਰ 2000 ਸ਼ਬਦਸ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਸੁਖਮਨੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਹਜ਼ਾਰੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਲਸੋ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਦਾ ਕੰਪਲੈਕਸ ਫੋਰ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਐਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ਡ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਕਾਲ ਦਾ ਗੋਲਡਨ ਟੈਂਪਲ um guru sahib also turned amritsar into a center of excellence where people would come from loads of different places and um exchange um merchandise guru sahib became very well known for everything that he did but um as you know there's always those that are going to become jealous jealousy in this case was from the mughal empire that was run predominantly by extremist muslims and uh, the mughal court in delhi that was starting to have a lot of problems against guru nanak dev ji's ghar the further things got start uh, things started to become out of hand um chandu shah was an influential leader who was um known quite well in the emperor's darbar uh he was advised by some uh, by a pandit to have his daughter's marriage to um guru arjan dev ji's only son tan shri guru har gobind sahib but he spoke very harsh words about guru arjan dev ji and laughed about the proposal um which later was told to by a Sikh to Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Jahangir was the emperor at the time he had um a lot of jealousy for Guru Arjan Dev ji and so he started agitating the other Mughal leaders to take some action against Guru Arjan Dev ji by saying that he had written things in Gurbani that were not uh, that were ridiculing other religions um such as Islam and Hinduism so eventually in uh, late may 1606 guru arjan dev ji was arrested um guru ji showed us that no matter how dire a situation is that we should always accept guru sahib's hukum why because we should trust in what guru sahib has um let out for us so in that pana guru sahib spent 5 days being tortured this included being sat on a red hot iron plate and um having hot sand poured over his head um sometimes when we make a cup of cha you know we um put in the boiling hot water and then we uh, go for the cup and our, we pull our hands straight back as we realize oh uh, you know it's really hot um but guru sahib was boiled alive in um a cauldron of hot water so we can imagine just how painful that must have been um but guru sahib's only um words that came out of his mouth was wahiguru so instead of the normal torture on the fifth and final day guruji asked to bathe in the ravi river which was a river that flowed along the city of lahore um chandu absolutely loved the idea because he thought that the blisters and the shalle on guru sahib's um body would um erupt in more pain when guru sahib um was dipped in the cold water so he allowed it um but obviously he didn't know how great guru sahib really was and guru sahib made his um trip to sachkhand in that river on that day so guru sahib taught us a great lesson here a lesson of sacrifice and a lesson of acceptance and his shabad tera kiya meetha lage har naam padarth nanak mange guru sahib taught us that tera kiya meetha lage whatever guru sahib whatever waheguru has planned for us we should accept that why har naam padarth nanak mange because the only thing we should be concerned about is having the treasure of naam with us all the times so um i hope that um teaches you a bit about guru arjan dev ji shiddi um our first sikh martyr and i hope you enjoy